just roll. There's a lot to do, but you got to choose. Well, I used to be singing the blues, but now I'm singing the news. Praise the Lord, friend. Welcome to the Good News Program. This is the program where you're going to get good news. You know, there's so much bad news going on in the world. We need some good news. We need some encouraging news. So that's what we're all about. We want to encourage you and to lift you up and to build you up. And, and I want you to know that we have our guest with us again today, Brother Glenn Fendelson. And I'm going to introduce him in just a few moments. But we had such a great time on our last program. And we're glad to have him with us again. And I want to share a song with you. But don't forget, get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors, and let them know the Good News program is coming on. We don't want them to miss it. So you enjoy this song. And I'll be back in a few moments with some good news. Oh, put your hands together. Well, I'm a going up, not going down. Well, I got my ticket, I'm heaven bound. Don't you worry about me when I can't be found. I'm going up when the trumpet sounds. I'm a going up, I'm going down. Say with me today that all your sins have been washed away. Then you're going up, you're not going down. But if the Savior you must deny, and when he comes up in the sky, you're not a going up, you will be going down. But I'm a going up, not going down. You see, I got my ticket, I'm heaven bound. Don't you worry about me when I can't be found I'm going up when the trumpet sounds I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going down Did you ever have a friend to let you down? You needed them, they couldn't be found Well, you're not alone, I said you're not alone but Jesus is a friend who really cares. He'll never leave, always be there. Gonna lift you up. He'll never let you down. So I'm a going up, not going down. Well, I got my ticket. I'm heaven bound. Don't you worry about me when I can't be found. I'm going up when the trumpet sounds. I'm a going up. Going up when that trumpet sounds. Let me hear somebody tonight say amen. On the Mount of Olives long ago, the disciples watched as he did go to prepare a place for you and me. Just like he left upon that day, he's coming back in the same way, gonna lift you up. Never let you down So I'm going up Not going down Well, I got my ticket I'm heaven bound, I'm heaven bound. Don't you worry about me When I can't be found I'm going up when the trumpet sounds I'm going up I'm going down I'm going up Up, 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 not going down Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that song because I enjoy singing about Jesus, singing about his goodness and his grace. And you know, we have a wonderful singer right here next to me, Brother Glenn, amen, that's been singing for about how many years you've been singing, brother? Well, let's see. I was about two or three years old, about 68, 69 years, wow. something like that, ever since I could talk. How about that? <laughs> I'm telling you. And I tell you, he is a blessing. And, uh, and I just love hearing you sing because you're so anointed. 
you know, and, and we hear a lot of singers nowadays, you know, but there's a difference when a person is anointed by the Holy Spirit, you know. I told a young lady that not long ago, well, a couple of years ago, Brother Mike, I sang at a funeral and, and uh, so she came and she said, oh, that song, I've never heard it sung, blah, 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 blah. Your voice, I said, no, 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 ma'am, wait, wait. Let me set the record straight for you. Yeah. There's a whole lot better singers as far as quality and mm -hmm. being able to read music and all. Mm -hmm. I sing mm -hmm. strictly by ear. Someone said, well, you better sing good because I listen by ear. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know how to read music. I, if I hear something, I can yeah. usually do it. Yeah. But, but I said, but the difference is mm -hmm. it's a gift that God implanted in me. Right. I didn't even ask for it. It just, right. it was... From the time I came into the world, right. God had a plan for my life. Right. And part of that plan yeah. was the ability to sing and translate His good news message. Amen. I love that title, brother. Amen. Uh, the gospel, the good news message in song yeah. Yeah. Uh, because of His hand Amen. on my life. Amen. Praise God. Well, again, I'm so delighted to have you on our program again today. We had such a good time on the last program. And I want you just once again to just share with us what God's placed on your heart, you know. And, uh, you know, if you want to elaborate on what you shared last time or something new, just whatever you want to. Uh, the, the, the thought today, I was reading in Daily Devotional this morning. Mm -hmm. I have, we have two or three devotional books. But one of them I picked up this morning has talked about uh, the psalmist said, this is the day mm -hmm. that the Lord has made. Right. And I will rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. Amen. God made this day. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the, the Science Channel and National Geographic mm -hmm. and whoever else tells you about it. God made this Amen. day. Yes. In the beginning, mm -hmm. God. Yes. And in the beginning of every beginning, mm -hmm. God. Amen. It, it, not only did he create originally day and night, but he still does every day. Mm -hmm. Creates a new and exciting day. Amen. I, this Christian life, I've, mm -hmm. I've lived it for 50, 60 years or so, and I've failed. I, I, there were plenty of times when I did not please my Heavenly Father. Right. Thank God for His grace and Amen. His unconditional love for me that always welcomed me yes. in, back into His presence. Like the, uh, Ricky Atkinson, our great songwriter friend, mm -hmm. wrote a song uh, about the, uh, the prodigal's father. Right. You know, the story of the prodigal son. Everybody right. talks about the prodigal son, the prodigal yeah. son. Yeah. He wrote a great song about... Yeah, but what about the prodigal's father? Yeah, what about his father? Everybody yeah. knows what the prodigal did and yeah. knows anything about the Bible. Yeah. But what about the prodigal's father? Good point. Beautiful song. Mm -hmm. Ricky writes fantastic song. Mm -hmm. And he talks about how the father ran to meet his son yes. when he saw him coming. What about the grace he showed mm -hmm. when the son came back home? Mm -hmm. What about how he wrapped his arms around yeah. him in the middle of his stench? Mm -hmm. So this Christian life... Is, is, is an exciting adventure yes, for me. Yes. And the older I get, the more I have learned in, in, in a spiritual sense to appreciate each day for just what that day is. Amen. Quit trying to fix up what you messed up yesterday and quit trying to make tomorrow, plan out tomorrow before it gets here. Enjoy today. Boy, the psalmist you, said, that's, that's this good. is the day. Yeah. Uh, he's got tons of exciting steps today. Amen. Peter, Saint Peter talked in his epistle later over in the Bible about walking in the footsteps of Jesus, yeah. you know, following in the footsteps of Jesus. Right. I think that's what the psalmist was talking about when he said, this day, yeah. this period is all I have. Yeah. This moment that yeah. I have is all I have. Right. And I will, as a as a as a decision of my will, I will myself to rejoice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could sit and moan. I got trouble. Yeah. I got plenty of big troubles, big yeah. problems, yeah. big big things. It, it, all of us do. I'm not. I'm not 
putting down on your problems or your, all of us have them. Mm -hmm. But I can will myself. I am not going to be overcome by the things that I face. I am going to rejoice. Amen. I got plenty of things I can rejoice about too. Amen. It's a choice. Yeah. There's a balance there right. yeah. that I can either sit yeah. and moan and groan and weep and cry and and, mm -hmm. and, and be filled with sadness and de and gloom and all that. Right. Or I can rejoice in in Him Amen. for what He has done for me. Yeah. All eternity. I will praise him and give him thanks and worship for what he has done for me. Amen. And then, like I shared with you the other day, the, the, the Hebrew word for worshiping mm -hmm. actually comes from a Hebrew word, which means mm -hmm. to kiss. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't kiss somebody that we don't love. Right. Yeah. And we don't kiss somebody that we don't have a, a joyful relationship right. with. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, when I come and worship my king, it's as though, and I'm, we're not talking about sexual or, sure. or physical things right, here. Yeah. We're talking about things of the spirit. Yeah. I am, it's as though I am kissing yeah. my king, my right. savior who died for me. Yeah. I am full of joy for Amen. what he did for me. Amen. And then the thought that came out the other day too was not only do I, in worship times, I will rejoice. Mm -hmm. Not only do I get to Embrace him and in, in, in his presence, but I get him to embrace me. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yes. Like old Charles Johnson, the great singer, said, uh, "I love him, but what's more important is he loves me." Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and not yes. only will I rejoice in, I will be glad. Amen. Yes. Happiness. Glad comes from a word which mean, which is the same word as happiness. Mm -hmm. But happiness is is a derivative of a word happenstance okay. in the old English mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. Happenstance, which means what is happening to me yeah. determines how I feel about it. Okay. I I feel good. Mm -hmm. When I when when good things are happening. Right. And when something goes wrong, mm -hmm. oh, I feel bad. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I will rejoice and I will be glad. Yes. It ain't, it, I will not let what happens to me determine my gladness. Okay, that's good. I will, I, wh what he has done for me, mm -hmm. in saving my old wretched soul, mm -hmm. in healing my body when I was sick, in blessing my home, blessing my finances, Blessing my children and, and you know all of the things that he has done for me. David in, in the 103rd Psalm said, He daily loads me with yes. benefits. Amen. Daily loads yes. me down with benefits. Amen. I will rejoice and I will be glad in this exciting adventure that we call Christianity. Amen. Oh, it ain't about going and, and sitting in a corner and and and, and just and, and just oh God. <laughs> yeah, no. right. This is an adventure. Yeah. Every step I make, he's with me. That's good. Whether I feel it or yeah, not, right. he's with me. Yeah. He never leaves. He said, I'll mm -hmm. never leave you or forsake you. Yeah. Every day is full of what's happening next. I like that. Where are we yes. going, Father? Yes. What, what are we going to do today? Amen. I, know, I don't know what's out there, but I know you know, so I'm just going to follow you today. Right. Amen. I will rejoice and be glad because this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. Amen. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Hallelujah. And I like that word that you use, adventure. Yes. Adventure. Yes. Yeah, because, you know, there's many Christians that, that they don't have a, a, a lifestyle of, uh, of, of happiness, yes. a, a lifestyle uh, of adventure. Yes. But yes. this journey that we're on, it is an adventure. Certainly. I, I, I like the way you brought that out. That's, it, it's, it's exciting yeah. to see what are we going to do mm -hmm. next. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know this. I know it's going to be good. Yes. It's going to be good. Because everything he does is good. Amen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, God is a good God. Yes, Lord. Yes, He is. And everything <clears throat> that He does works together yeah. for 
my good yeah. because I love him yeah. and I'm called according to his purpose. Yeah. And that calling, is, it's, it's not talking about some kind of ministerial anointing. Right. Yeah, he's called everyone. Amen. He he loves Republicans. He loves Democrats. Yes. He loves black people. He loves Indians. Yes. He loves white. He loves Muslims. He you know it's yeah. not his will that any should perish. That's right. He yeah. he is he is all about his he he lo he don't love us because of who we are, or what we can do, or what we did do, or what we don't do. He loves us because he is love. Oh, yeah, I like that. He can, there's yeah. nothing else he can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's God, yeah. but he is love. Amen. And so he just, he just loves us and says, yeah. okay, let's, let's go do something today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so could we say that's unconditional Absolutely. Love. Yeah. Absolutely. Come you know, on, son. Let's go. Let's let's see what we can get into today. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> Amen. I love it. And I like something else you said too. Is that it's a choice. Yes, sir. If we get it when we get up in the morning, we have to make a choice. Yes, sir. You know, it is. You know, you don't look at the weather to say, well, is this going to be a good day or not? No, you, you have to choose. This is going to be a good day because this is a God day. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Well, I hope you are in enjoying this as much as I am today, talking about the goodness of God. Has God been good to you? Well, somebody said, well, I don't know. I know he has. Absolutely. If you're alive and you're listening to this program, God has been good to you. And I want to encourage you, make a choice that I'm going to have a good day because I know that God made this day and I'm going to rejoice. And no matter what's going on in my life, if bad things are going on in my life, Lord, I give you complete control of everything, and I know you're going to work it around to my good. Well, we're out of time now, but uh, Brother Glenn and uh, me will be right back in a few moments. Stay tuned. Good song. The Bible tells a story of a city in distress Surrounded there was famine Not a piece of bread was left Oh, but the prophet said Now see the picture God had shown to me By this time tomorrow There'll be plenty of food to eat Change the picture overnight and by his mighty power put the enemy to flight. If there's a need, he can fill it. He'll take what's wrong and make it right. I tell you, God can change the picture overnight Can you believe the difference the Lord has made in me See my life was once a picture Oh but it was way too sad to see Oh but he made at the altar and turn my darkness into light I tell you God can change your picture overnight God can change the picture Flight. If there's a need, he can fill it. He'll take what's wrong and make it right. I tell you, God can change the picture overnight. If there's a need, he can fill it. 
He'll take what's wrong and make it right. I tell you, God can change the picture overnight. God can change the picture. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that song because it blesses my heart when Brother Glenn sings. And I want to ask him right now, if he would just look at this camera, and if you've never received Jesus as your Savior and Lord before, please make that important step right now. Brother Glenn, if you would pray. Absolutely. This is one of those things that we talked about earlier, Amen. a choice. Yes. yes. Lord, today I make a choice. And the choice I make is to make you Lord of my life. I admit that I have failed and that I am unable to manage and to correct any of my mistakes. But your grace and your unconditional love washes me clean, whiter than snow. And I become one of your children entering into your embrace, entering into your family. I receive you now as my Lord and my King, and I accept you as my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Friend, if you've prayed that prayer, I want you to know that the Bible says you are born again. You are a child of God you're not on the outside looking in anymore, but you're on the inside. You are part of God's family. And I, I want to rejoice with you. I want to send you a free little book entitled, Now What? This will help you get started in your journey with the Lord. As Brother Glenn said earlier, this is an adventure. And I want you to begin to learn about what has happened to you because you prayed that prayer. This will tell you how to study your Bible, how to pray, and some very important steps that'll get you started. Call me today at 888-429-2280, and I'll send you this little book, No Cost or Obligation. It's entitled, Now What? If I'm not in the office when you call, just leave your name. You can leave your address if you want. If you want to call back, leave that number, and I'll call you back. And I'm just excited about what God is doing in your life. So let us rejoice with you. Call us today and let us hear from you. And also I want to invite you to come out if you're in our area or passing through. Come out and be with us for our next concert that we'll be having here at the Good News Fellowship Church. It'll be March the 3rd. And I'll be singing and Brother Glenn will be singing as well. And our special guest will be Tim Frith and the Gospel Echoes from the state of Mississippi. You know, a lot of gospel singers come from Mississippi, and we're going to be having some here March the 3rd. And so be sure and put that on your calendar. Come out and be with us and bring your appetite as well because we're going to have some good country cooking and the concession stand with hot dogs and nachos and all that kind of good stuff. And bring a friend with you. Let somebody know about our next concert, March the 3rd. We have all the information on our website at mvmgoodnews.com. And also, if you're uh, in our area or passing through any Sunday morning, come by and worship with us at one of our regular church services at 1030 a.m. Brother Glenn preaches uh, the first Sunday of each month, and, and I preach, and uh, we have a wonderful worship service we believe in praising and worshiping God from our hearts and the Holy Spirit just fills up the room. And so if you enjoy that kind of worship, come out and be with us once again any Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. We would love to have you with us. And I want to say a special thanks to all my partners that make this outreach ministry possible. Partners, because of your prayers and your financial support, we are going all across this nation with the gospel. People are being saved, people are being encouraged, but we couldn't do it without your help. So thank you so much for every dime that you give. It all goes to pay for air and production time, so thank you so much. And I know there's many people watching today and listening by radio. You hadn't become a partner yet, 
If God has been dealing with you, please make that step and become a Good News partner. And uh, you can send just whatever you want to each month. That's what a partner does. Uh, some people send $20, 25 some send more. And uh, if everybody does their part, it really adds up. So if you like more information about partnership, you can go to our website at mvmgoodnews.com or you can call us or write to us at Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466. And our toll-free number is 888-429-2280. The Lord has given us a mandate to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, but we need your help. So call us today and let us know that you can become a Good News Partner. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook and YouTube if you want to keep uh, keep up with the ministry and, and find out what's going on. We always uh, make posts on Facebook. And also, if you miss the program, you can go on the Mike Bond Ministries YouTube page and you can click on there and watch it on demand. And we always upload all the programs on there. So be sure and avail yourself to that. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today, Brother Glenn. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Brother Mike. Amen. We love you and appreciate you. We'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember, this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. I'm singing the news.